Well, Egypt saw the Africa 2017 Business and Investment Forum as a chance to expand its trade activities with other African nations. The North African country signed a $500 million deal with Africa's Export-Import Bank to support export investments by Egyptian businesses in other African nations. Which Okoronko spoke with the Minister of Investment and International Cooperation, Dr. Saha Nasser, about the nation's strategy in cross-border collaboration. We are very keen and very committed to uh, regional integration at, at all levels. We, we, we really believe that, for, for example, uh, one key uh, concrete example is the connectivity uh, in terms of transportation, connectivity, connecting countries because uh, in the form of railways, for example, because that would ensure a better mobility of, of goods, services and also of of people that will help create uh, better jobs, more quality jobs, but would also allow the mobility of, of goods which would promote uh, trade and, and investment for the continent. Now we've seen quite a number of deals come out of this conference, including uh, a $500 million uh, deal with Africa's S Export Import Bank and of course Egypt's Development Bank. What are some of the other deals we've seen uh, come out today? We have several agreements with the African Development Bank and yesterday we've also signed one with the European Investment Bank that is very much keen on also promoting regional integration because when we're talking about South-South cooperation, we're also uh, keen on promoting um, exports to other continents that are of value added. So we do not want Africa to limit its exports to raw materials or intermediate goods, but in fact we can do more value added uh, in industrial uh, clusters that would also create more jobs, but also bring on uh, in more foreign currency for the whole continent. Now in terms of Egypt's economy, we're seeing those IMF reforms kicking in. Uh, can you give us an update on that program? In fact, yesterday we signed, uh, in the presence of the managing director, uh, Kristalina, uh, the third tranche from the World Bank, which is amounting to uh, $1 billion and $150 million. Uh, the $1 billion is from the World Bank support and the 150 is a UK, uh, UK contribution out of the G7 of uh, scaling up the funds that has been allocated from IFIs. So this is a program we're very proud of. Uh, it has been uh, supported uh, not just by the government, parliamentarians, but more important by the people because it required a lot of fiscal consolidation and uh, effective targeting of subsidies and uh, we are very proud uh, that we are able to, to get the buy-in from the people knowing that this will have positive and uh, rewarding returns in the medium term and the long run. And what role do you see China playing in the future of Egypt's prosperity? Today and yesterday we've been discussing how we can move forward with Africa, our uh, African uh, brothers and sisters. We're also having uh, negotiation and discussion with also the Asian uh, counterparts, including China, uh, and we're, we're very much uh, keen on bringing their expertise, but also uh, putting our investments there.